So we said, rather than just leave this land fallow, let us organize and attract investors, serious investors who understand the business of oil palm, to come and see how we can get them to now grow oil palm in place of the forest that used to be here. We did several trips to Indonesia, to Malaysia about five years ago to just understand what they did in those countries and how they went about uh, attracting investments into oil palm. And what we learned was that we have to get the state to support the exercise in a very organized manner. So what we've done is to create what you call the Edo State Oil Palm Program, which is a program where we have partnered with the private sector. So coming here today to see what Saru has done. And by the way, there are other seven other concessionaires for this lot in Korea. We are currently doing what we call ground routing in the Obia axis, and we expect to get as much as 60,000 hectares. Our uh, seven concessionaires have signed the agreements, giving them access to the land. But Saro has been, you know, a front runner because they've been in the uh, agricultural business for almost 30 years, so they know what to do. And they've been front runners, and you can see for yourself what they have done. Uh, we've come from another investment in Cassava. So what they did there, and the meal they are having for it and all. And um, this is much more longer gestation. Uh, but like you've seen, from those little shoots we've seen today, in another 40 months, they'll, have, you know, they'll be yielding. And in another, and that they will yield uh, fruits and all palm for the next 30 years. Yeah, I pray that most of us are here there to see. Amen. <laughs> Amen, sir. Amen. <laughs> and that will be the backbone of our future economy. Palm oil is more expensive than crude oil, and it's more versatile. So this we're just laying the basis for a future Edo. Promise I will make Edo great again. I will do it with everything we have, no matter the opposition, no matter the fights, the fight that we're having. It's our duty to care for the next generation.